fucked. That's what uh, that's what's going on right now with Spencer Cornelia and Fresh and Fit or whatever the fuck their name is. They they play with fire for too long. Spencer Cornelia and Fresh and Fit they play with fire for too long. Like you you can't do that, you know. And I shot a Spencer Cornelia out, thinking like alive, and I sent him a DM. His music industry video that was a really good video. That was a, that was a really good good video. You took fifteen minutes to type that. Yeah, you a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no censorship because ain't no rules here. I'm just kicking your bitch ass out. You know, they just been going back and forth. Like Spencer Cornelia or whatever. He, uh, he like e exposes gurus, you know. And when that's your content, what you're doing is you're consistently putting negative energy out into the world because you're not big up in nobody. And, and like, you know, he wasn't talking bad about everybody, um, but – the videos that would get the part twos and the part threes and the responses was when he was talking bad about people. And it was just like, you know, if, if you're going to do that, it's going to come back your way. That's just how this shit works. That's how the universe works. You know, Fresh and Fit, they have a podcast and they're just like basically trying to act like they're on some like alpha male shit. We're alpha males, you know, and it's just like, you know, any real nigga knows you don't say no. No alpha, like, the lion doesn't have to walk around the jungle, jungle and let people know he's a fucking lion. Like, he, he doesn't have to know that. Like, he doesn't have to go around. Like, the lion doesn't have to roar all day for motherfuckers to know you a lion. Like, when you walk, when, when, when you're a... When you are a man who demand, when you are a person who demands attention and uh, respect, you know, when you walk in, people automatically give it to you. So, dudes walking around, I'm an alpha male. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> like, you're the opposite. Because <laughs> you ain't got to say shit. Because when you, when you the alpha, you, you know, like, you know, if, if I'm going to be challenged in here, it's going to be by another alpha. And when you meet another alpha, you know, it's like, it's usually respect. Because you know what that nigga goes through for real. You know, he knows you. And it's like, y'all able to actually laugh about the shit, which is funny. But, you know. So anyways, their podcasts are about, like, being an alpha male. And they'll have, like, six or seven women up there. And they'll just be, like, be talking crazy to them and shit and being misogynistic. And, you know, you know, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't feeling that. Um... You know, I'm like, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. You know, we don't, I don't like that. And then they had academics up there. You know, I'm like, okay, now you really fucked up doing that. You know, there's, there's, there's two, there's two ways. There's, there's two ways that I saw they were fucking up. Spencer Cornelia went on No Jumper podcast. I'm like, okay, you fucked up. You just switched your audience. And they, fresh and fit, added, they had academics come on their show. I was like, okay, he's in line with what y'all do, but okay, whatever. And I didn't even know, but then I saw a clip of academics was schooling them. Academics said something to them like, bro, you're not living the life that you say that you're living. You know, you're out here saying all this stuff about people, but like, I know you're not living like that. Like, you got to change that up. I'm like, what the fuck? Academics be in the big bro? Academics being the OG. Whoa. And when I saw that, I was like, it's a matter of time. <laughs> and I just didn't expect it to be, uh, I didn't expect him to be a collision course. I mean, I think like Spencer Cornelia's Instagram got deleted because Spencer Cornelia made a video about Fresh and Fit, I think. And Fresh and Fit responded, and then their audience is attacked, and now there's like some lawsuits pending or something. I mean, at first I was looking at this shit. I'm like, okay, these motherfuckers have just started like a like an internet internet podcast beef. Like they 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 beefing. Okay, they beefing for views. So I'm like, all right, I guess this shit's gotten over to to this. You know, no, nah, this shit was real. I was like, oh, when when old boy got his Instagram account deleted, I was like, oh, okay, now nah, this is real. And, you know, they, um, they're not running businesses. When you're not running a business, your YouTube revenue, like, is very, very important. Very important. 
the first time that you get a big check from YouTube, and Spencer Cornelia has shown how much he's made, which, you know, I watched that video. Like I said, he, he does a good job. You know, he just needs to use his powers for good instead of so much evil. But, like, um, he, could, he could easily flip that shit, too. He could easily flip it. He could easily flip it. And, and make more money and, you know, have a uh, less, you know, be, be less vulnerable. But anyways, he, uh, you know, he showed how much he was making. Like, he had a couple of months. He was making like 18000 20000 in a month. Like, man, that's fucking what's up. So what happens is you get dependent on that. 